Starting your journey toward landing an internship or entry-level position as a game developer is both exciting and challenging. The road ahead requires dedication, strategy, and a willingness to continually learn and adapt. But with the right plan, you can transform your passion for games into a promising career in just a few months. Here's a comprehensive, step-by-step -step roadmap to help you make the leap from aspiring developer to industry professional within three to six months. The first phase of your journey centers on preparation, honing your skills, polishing your portfolio, and making sure your professional materials shine. This foundation will not only boost your confidence, but also make a strong impression on recruiters and hiring managers. Begin by clarifying your focus area within game development. The field is broad, and aligning your efforts with a specific path will help you stand out. Are you drawn to gameplay programming, or you bring interactive mechanics to life using tools like Unity with CPy or Unreal Engine with C++? Perhaps you're fascinated by systems or engine programming, delving into the underlying architecture that makes games tick. Maybe your strengths lie in game design and scripting, crafting compelling experiences through logic and creativity. You might have a knack for UI, UX programming, ensuring players enjoy smooth and intuitive interfaces, or you might be intrigued by tools or AI development, building the systems that support both creators and players. Take time to explore these paths, reflect on your interests, and select one or two areas where you want to focus your energy. Once you know your direction, it's time to deepen your technical skills. Proficiency in core programming languages is non-negotiable. C++, C++, or Python are industry standards, with Unity primarily using c and Unreal leaning toward C++. Familiarize yourself with both Unity and Unreal Engine if possible, even if you gain just a basic understanding of each. Employers value developers who are adaptable and can work across multiple platforms. Additionally, become comfortable with version control systems like Git and GitHub. Not only will this help you manage your own projects, but it's also an essential skill in team-based development environments. With your skills in place, shift your attention to your portfolio. This is your calling card, the evidence of your potential. Aim to complete at least two to three polished, playable projects that showcase your abilities. These don't have to be massive undertakings. Start with a small 2D or 3D game in Unity or Unreal, demonstrating your understanding of core mechanics. Consider creating a classic game clone, such as Pong or Tetris, but add your unique twist, perhaps a new power-up system, a creative art style, or an innovative scoring mechanic. Participate in a game jam to experience rapid prototyping and teamwork. Then write a detailed breakdown of your role and the challenges you solved. Host your projects on GitHub with clean, well-documented code. Record short gameplay videos and write clear project descriptions. This not only demonstrates your technical skills, but also your ability to communicate and present your work. Qualities valued by every employer. Next, update your resume and LinkedIn profile. Clearly list your technical skills and the tools you've mastered. Include a prominent link to your portfolio, whether that's a personal website, an itch.io page, or Unity Play profile. When describing your projects, use bullet points that highlight your impact. For example, rather than simply stating worked on a Unity game, say, built a real-time combat system using Unity CPOS scripts, optimizing for smooth performance on low-end devices, specifics matter, and quantifying your contributions whenever possible will set you apart. As you move into the second phase, application and networking, it's time to put your preparation to the test. Set a goal to submit at least 5 to 10 targeted applications per week. Cast a wide net by searching on mainstream job boards like LinkedIn, Indeed, and Glassdoor. But don't neglect game industry-specific platforms. Sites like GameDevJobs.io, Hitmarker, GamesJobs Direct, and the forums for Unreal and Unity are treasure troves for emerging talent. Visit the career pages of both Indie and Chepiki TAA Studios, Epic, Riot, Ubisoft, EA, Insomniac, and many others regularly post internship and entry-level opportunities. As you search, 
Use keywords like Game Developer Intern, Unity Developer, Junior Gameplay Programmer, or Entry-Level C++ Game Programmer to zero in on the most relevant roles. Remember, smaller indie studios and mobile game companies are often more open to hiring interns and junior developers than large dippy AA studios, so don't overlook these opportunities. Customize each application to the company and the role. Reference your portfolio projects that align with their games or tech stack, and always write a thoughtful cover letter that shows your enthusiasm for both the position and the studio's mission. But applications are only half the battle. Networking is where you can truly accelerate your progress. Join active online communities such as Discord servers like Game Dev League, Unreal Slackers, or Indie Game Developers. Participate in Reddit communities such as Arish Eus Game Dev and R Game Dev Classifieds, where you can share your work, seek feedback, and find collaborators. Attend virtual or local game jams. Ludum Dare, Global Game Jam, and Itch.io Jams are all fantastic venues for both experience and connections. If possible, attend conferences like GDC, PAX, or local game development meetups to meet industry professionals face to face. Don't be afraid to reach out to people directly. Message junior developers on LinkedIn who've recently landed their first roles and ask for advice or insight into their journey. Contact recruiters or studio representatives to inquire about future openings and express your genuine interest in their work. Every introduction is a potential opportunity, and most professionals remember what it was like to be in your shoes. They're often willing to help. As you enter the final stretch in months four to six, Focus on polishing your skills and pushing your efforts even further. Participating in a game jam during this period is particularly valuable. Game jams test your ability to work under pressure, collaborate with others, and deliver a complete, playable product in a short time frame. Document your contributions, whether you handled programming, design, art, or project management, and add the finished game to your portfolio. Consider contributing to an open-source game project or joining a small team as a volunteer or freelancer. Platforms like itch.io devlogs, devgamedev, and the erinat subreddit are great places to find projects looking for collaborators. These experiences not only boost your skills and portfolio, but they also give you valuable teamwork experience, which is a major plus for employers. Prepare for interviews by practicing common technical and behavioral questions. Be ready to explain how you manage performance in Unity, how a game loop works, or to walk through a system you've programmed from scratch. Use online platforms such as Pramp or Exorcism to hone your skills, or ask a friend to conduct a mock interview. Articulating your thought process and demonstrating your problem-solving ability will leave a lasting impression. Don't hesitate to go above and beyond. Creating a personal website to showcase your portfolio, GitHub, and resume can increase your visibility and professionalism. Recording development logs or YouTube shorts that document your projects not only demonstrates your communication skills, but can help you build a following and attract the attention of studios. If you're struggling to land interviews, consider contract or freelance gigs on Upwork or Fiverr as a way to gain practical experience and grow your network. As you work through this plan, Keep a checklist to monitor your progress. Ensure you've completed at least two polished games in Unity or Unreal. Your resume and LinkedIn are up to date. Your GitHub repository is clean and documented. You're applying to multiple roles each week. You're actively networking and participating in communities. You've completed at least one game jam, and you're regularly practicing interview questions. Landing your first internship or entry-level position in game development requires persistence, resilience, and a willingness to keep learning. By following this roadmap, you'll position yourself as a proactive, skilled, and passionate candidate, ready to make your mark in the world of games. Stay curious, stay connected, and keep creating. The game industry needs fresh voices and new ideas, and your journey is just beginning.